Today we're gonna to be taking a look at something a little bit different. It's the Vomac V5 outdoor speaker. Now the people at Vomac had contacted me directly asking if I would review this speaker. So in the interest of full disclosure, they did send me a review unit for free, uh, but they will not be seeing this video before it's posted and they won't have any editorial control. Uh, so I took a look at this speaker uh, because it's summertime now and people are gonna be heading outside for cookouts, spending time in the backyard. Uh, or for us, we decided to take it to the beach. It was super hot over the weekend. It was Father's Day weekend. It was the hottest. Father's Day in uh, about 23 years. Uh, so we decided to go to the beach. Um, this speaker uh, ended up being uh, just about perfect for what we needed. Now the first thing to note though is it's a very solid uh, speaker. It feels nice and heavy like a Bluetooth speaker should. But it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Not to say that this is small, but compare it to the box it came in and like the listing on Amazon makes it seem like it's a bigger than normal and a Bluetooth speaker. So I was expecting something bigger, and then this is what came out of the box. So a little bit of a size differential. Also what you get in the box, you get a charging cable, it charges by micro USB, and a uh, aux cable, uh, which is useful if you don't have an iPhone. Um, also interesting about this particular product is that it has a micro SD slot, which I thought was interesting. I don't store music, I don't buy music uh, on SD card slots, micro or otherwise. So this isn't that useful for me, but if you're gonna be taking this thing camping or somewhere super remote where you're not gonna have access to Wi-Fi, this could be a killer feature uh, for you. All the ports are held behind this little rubber door here, uh, which is useful in helping keep things like sand and dust out and, and also water. Felt confident with this like little rubber door handing these off to my girls. They're six and one years old. Uh, they kind of fought over who gets to help hold the speaker while we we're at the beach. Uh, I connected it to my phone and we ran Pandora, listened to a little bit of a Descendants 2 radio station. Uh, and so they were able to listen to the music that way. On top, there's a power button, uh, which the one-year-old very easily found and kept turning the speaker off. And there's also a Bluetooth uh, phone button and plus and minus to control the volume, which the girls were able to find quite easily. In terms of overall volume, the volume was great for what we needed. It wasn't going to, this isn't the size of speaker that's gonna be able to kind of like fill your backyard. But for what we wanted, we wanted to have some music that we can listen to as we were walking to the beach. Uh, the beach, the part that we go to is about uh, less than a mile from here. So it's a little bit, of, maybe a little bit more than a mile from here. It's a little bit of a walk. And uh, while we're there at the beach, we wanna be able to listen to some music while we're sitting in our pop-up tent. But we also didn't want to kind of, it was a really crowded day at the beach, so we didn't want to uh, annoy other people or create too much noise. So that way we wouldn't want to disturb anyone else. Uh, that being said, we never really had to crank it up to the top level to get it to that uh, level of volume. So that was good. So there's more kind of horsepower in here than we needed for the day for our specific use case. Uh, and it does get uh, decently loud, so the sound was uh, pleasant in that respect. Uh, it's not gonna be kind of audiophile quality, but no speaker this side is going to be. Uh, but uh, it did have enough volume and it didn't sound too terribly tinny or anything was too distorted. So exactly what I was looking for for this uh, type of use case. It does come with also a little carabiner. So I was able to click, clip it onto like a bag that I was, um, I had on my shoulder, and then also we were able to clip it to like the stroller for a little bit, and then it has nice little rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around, although my girls wanted to take it with them into the lake or into the sand, so uh, we're definitely testing out some of the uh, dust protection, but it's listed by the manufacturer as an IPX6, which means that they haven't actually tested it for dust protection. Uh, not to say that there isn't with the rubber door here, I'm sure that it would test relatively well, uh, but it hasn't formally been tested, so it's IPX. And then the, the six stands for, it has been tested for uh, water intrusion by jets, 
which I think kind of translates to like splashes and faucets and showers and things like that. So I wouldn't take this thing underwater. We didn't take it underwater, but my daughter did want to play with it like right up to the waves where they were crashing. So it did get a little bit uh, wet, although never submerged. So in all those conditions, the speaker did really great. And uh, because everything is coated in it's like this like rubbery plastic material, uh, it was dropped several times by the girls and it did just fine. And it is no worse for the wear. This is a great little speaker. And uh, I think the list price for this is only 20 bucks. So a pretty decent value. I don't really care for like the military green uh, on this. But if this is something that you like, I think this could be a great camping speaker. Or if you're just taking it out for a day on the beach and don't want to bother too many other people, this could be the one to bring along. It's pretty good. Yo, what's going on?